A request that I get a lot when people are moving to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina is they're looking for a community with a little bit of uniqueness and a little bit of character and maturity. Lots of green trees and shrubbery where the houses aren't right on top of each other. And to be honest, that's not always easy to find here in the greater Myrtle Beach area, especially because of all of the new construction that we have, but it's also not impossible. And as you can see, I'm walking through one of these communities right now where it's just a little bit different and the homes aren't right on top of each other and there's some character within the community and the home that I'm going to share with you today has its own set of uniqueness and character. Hey, welcome back. And if you're new here, my name is Nick. And on this channel, I talk about things to do here in Myrtle Beach. I give tips and advice about the area and I'm a real estate agent. So of course I talk about the real estate. So if you are thinking about relocating to the area, then be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and tap the little notification bell while you're at it. This way you can be the first to know about what's going on here in Myrtle Beach. I get calls every single day from people just like you who are moving to the area. So if you ever have any questions or if I can help you find home here at the beach, then I would love to chat with you. You can always use the first link down in the description to schedule a call with me. Now, as I mentioned in the intro, today we're gonna to be checking out this super unique property here in Conway, South Carolina. This is something that a lot of people are looking for when they move to the Myrtle Beach area. Again, they want communities where the homes aren't right on top of each other and they don't all look exactly the same. And again, that's not always easy to find, but if you're willing to move a little bit further away from the beach, still being within about 20 to 30 minutes from the beach and everything that Myrtle Beach has to offer, then you can find something like this that is a little bit different. You can see they have nice mature trees in the front. These are huge overgrown crepe myrtle trees. They look absolutely beautiful. There's a bunch of them on this property. You might be able to see peeking through the corner there, the beautiful lake in the back, which we'll check out more towards the end. But before we do that, I wanna go ahead and take you through this house. Okay, so we saw how beautiful the front of this home is with the nice mature crepe myrtle trees. It's got some really nice curb appeal. Obviously it's in a great neighborhood, but I think the inside of this home is even better. So the home is a little bit older, so the floor plan is a little bit unique, but it's still nice and open, as you can see right now as I pan around. And it's been fully remodeled, so the current owner has done a really great job. I think it looks awesome. And we're gonna start the tour here at the front door. So this is a three bedroom, two bathroom home, and it does have an office or den here in the front as well. And this is a big enough room here. If you needed to convert it to a fourth bedroom, you totally could. You can see you have a nice wide entranceway when you walk in the door here. And then directly across from the den, you do have this formal dining area as well with the floor to almost ceiling windows and the crown molding. And then as we enter into the home, everything really starts to open up. So you have a nice spacious living room overlooking the huge lake in the backyard. We'll take a closer look at that at the end. And then a really nice kitchen with lots of counter space, lots of cabinets, and a little eat-in kitchen area as well. So pan back around here, this loops back into the dining room. And as we're going through some of these more boring sections here, the laundry room and the two car garage, um, I want to talk a little bit about this HOA community here. So it's a really low HOA, no frills, only $48 a month. It is paid annually. And there's only about 115 or so homes in this community. Again, as I mentioned earlier in the intro, they have nice big lots, tons of privacy, Almost every home in this community is either on the lake in the back here or across on the other side or on the golf course, which is a burning ridge. So the road that I was walking on when we first introduced this video, at the end of that street is the burning ridge golf course. So it's literally walking distance from this home. You can get to a beautiful golf course 
a good amount of closets and storage in this home, which you don't always get in older homes. And again, those floor to ceiling windows really give this home some nice character. So all three of your bedrooms are down this hallway here. And here is the primary suite. So I'm gonna pan around and see if I can get you a view of that lake here from the bedroom. That's kind of hard to beat right there. And then the fully remodeled bathrooms, nice double sink vanity, big walk-in all tile shower from floor to ceiling and a big walk-in closet as well, which again is very unique for an older property like this. Usually you're not going to find those big closets. And as we head to the outside to show you this backyard here, again, I wanna mention the Burning Ridge Golf Course is just down the street. You can literally walk to it from this home. You have to pass by it every time you leave this community, unless you go out on the other side. And then this right here is why you buy a home like this. Again, just like in the front, you got some nice mature crepe myrtle trees. And then that huge pond in the back here, a nice big patio as well. And a huge yard, lots of privacy. You don't see any neighbors on this side. On this side, they're, the way their house is shaped, they're hanging out on the other side of the house. And then you have this nice big pond back here that you can fish in. You can drop a kayak or a canoe back here. So this is really hard to beat. Again, if you're looking for something that is a little bit different, not your typical home in Myrtle Beach, then this might be the one. Three bedrooms, two bathrooms, plus the den, just under 2,200 heated square feet, and it's offered at $500,000 in Conway, South Carolina just about 20 minutes from everything that Myrtle Beach has to offer. So if you're interested in getting more info on this home or any home in Myrtle Beach, then I would love to chat with you. I would love to be the one to help you make your move to the beach. If I can do that, you can use the first link down in the description to schedule a call with me. I am looking forward to speaking with you. I wanna thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.